Hi, you're watching Investor Insights and in this video I want to talk about free shares and I'm going to start this video by asking you a very simple question is there such a thing as a free lunch? How often do you walk into a tag hero shop and they're handing out free samples of watches that is? How often do you walk into uh, a Lamborghini dealership and they're handing out free samples of cars? How often do you walk into JB and they're handing out free TVs? The answer is never. When hell freezes over, yes. But within our society, it's not going to happen. What does that tell you about free stuff? When somebody gives you free stuff, odds are it's worth next to nothing or it's worth nothing. So if you have, for example, uh, a whole bunch of AMP shares from when it um, uh, listed back in 2000 and uh, the demutualization of um, the companies, uh, they issued out a lot of uh, free company stock to policy holders and members, whatever. Uh, when the demutualization of um, NRMA happened um, almost a decade ago now, uh, again, policyholders got a whole bunch of shares. Same goes with IOOF, the list goes on. Now, if a Lamborghini dealership doesn't give you free samples and a Tag Heuer shop doesn't give you free samples, what does that tell you about AMP shares being given to you for free. Those shares are worth nothing. Yes, I realize they're worth something on the stock exchange, but the best way to have acted when you were given those free shares is to sell them on the day that they're listed. Because as history will tell you, and you can check this on Bloomberg.com or any other financial website that's, that dates back you know, 15 odd years. When you look at the um, IPOs of these companies, or not so much the IPO, the, the free floating of these companies on the um, stock exchange, they reach their all time highs on the day of listing. AMP, this is just off the top of my head. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but my memory with numbers is pretty good. AMP opened, I think, at $25. It shot up to $65, and it came to rest around the $20-odd mark by the close of trade on the first day. Some idiot lost his company $10 bucks by buying AMP at $65. Bucks. What a clown. I want you to look at AMP today. There's been no stock split. There's been no huge dividend payout. There's been nothing. The company's worth five bucks a share. This is a long way from even the opening bid of twenty odd dollars. Look at NRMA or IAG. The day it floated, it hit its all time high. It's been on a constant down, downward spiral since. You wouldn't touch that company with a 10-foot pole. So the, so the lesson from this video is very plain and simple. If you're lucky enough to be issued some free shares from a company wanting to list on the exchange or uh, your policy holder and the, there's a process whereby you get to get some free shares your course of action should be to get rid of them as soon as you can. Technically, as soon as you're allowed to get rid of them. Because the best price you're going to get is on the first day of trading. 
it's happened before it's just gonna keep on happening again be smart don't worry about the taxation consequences it doesn't matter sell them take the money it was free money spend it enjoy it why hold something for 15 years when it's just been on a steady downtrend the whole time what a waste of 15 years that money you could have spent better else else better else um, somewhere else take a holiday go out have a couple of nice meals doesn't matter if something's free it's no good